Looking for a great sensory craft? We have one today, it's our sensory fish craft. And all you need are a few, few pieces of foam that I got at the craft store. It's a piece of foam sheet, different colors. You will need a plastic bag. This is a quart size plastic bag. I cut out some um, little fish shapes from my foam. And I'm using foam rather than paper because I'm going to use either water, mineral oil, or styling gel to make my um, water for my fish. So what I'm gonna do is put in my fish, my shark, and my other colorful fish, just like this. And the idea is to get the shark and the fish to kind of chase each other through the water. So then I'm gonna put in a little bit of my, you can put water again. I'm using hair gel just to make it a little more challenging. And so just a couple of squirts of the hair gel should work. Don't need a whole lot. Now you can add food coloring if you want to, but for this, I'm just going to use just the gel and see if I can get my fish to swim in the gel. And of course you would want to make sure that you get the air out of the bag. That, that's also, also helpful. But you also probably want to make sure that you go uh, around the edges with some tape to really secure it so that the gel doesn't come out. And then you can move your fish away from or close to your shark. Or maybe he's going to eat the fish. Or maybe the fish are going to escape and go far away. And that is our fish craft for today, our sensory fish craft. And again, all you need is styling gel, bag, some little foam shapes. Possibly you can add some um, food coloring. I did that for um, this version of the craft, so I made it um, um, even more kind of fun by adding the color and moving the fish around. And you can decide how much gel you want to use for how how much ocean you want to have for your fish. So this is Sensory Fish Craft. See you soon at the library.